Hi everyone. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. So what we'll do, we'll have her stand up. We'll try to do me. We'll put a uh, like a little tube thing on, try to keep her clean. Sure. Okay. So, so she needs to take this off or no? no Did you blow her clothes? We could probably put this over top and then and then just slip okay. this part off. Oh, okay. And that way this covers. I mean, her. we can just take this off if you want it. Okay. Sure. Mom, you take this. Your t-shirt is nickel. This is Peter Kubish mother, right? This. Until light in the center. I'm going to see if we can get this over her hair without messing her hair up. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be snug. Let's see. There we go. It has to be tight. Uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Kapala <laughs> Pigri. No, you're fine. <laughs> New designer clothing. <laughs> I like it actually. <laughs> I know, the ram that has 8,000 styles is fast as on. I'm sorry. It's okay. They will still love you. <laughs> She's so <laughs> good. Do you have any one, Olo? It's not hurting, right? What would be the approximate weight of each of those hands? So, um, we're going to try to make them as light as possible. Probably yeah. three pounds. Three pounds. Uh, we're going to try to make them as fairly as light as possible. Just to do it, you know, just a pinch back, huh? Just like go just to that, huh? Okay. Oh, you say you know, little hat my radio, I did to Rasaman Dakera and this go measurement to Lira Lab my button of a laggy. This get to Eddie Gordy Sidley. Ticklish or hurt? Tim like Kanko de la Sigi, go take us on. Both like tickle. Sorry, no, she's fine. Um, 
It's like a partnership based uh, oh, okay. It's not on staff, but right. we have an office in the in the building. Oh. And they're partnered throughout the Metstar network. Metstar has like this was just well, mega like, deal in me side. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So cute and beautiful regard. I'm sorry if I'm bored. I, I can move. <laughs> So this is the cost, like it, it's going to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like a, just like for like a fracture, right, kind of the old right. school. Yeah. We can kind of mold it in around her shoulder anatomy, oh, okay. and it'll set up in about five minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, then when we remove it, we'll fill it and have like a little statue of her shoulder, right. and then we'll make a clear plastic socket, oh, okay. which is so we can see through. So when she pushes and moves the shoulder around, right. if it hits an area, we can see it and we can adjust the shape. Mm -hmm. Once we get the, the, the elbow and the, the terminal right. devices, everything in place, um, and if it good, the fit is good, then we'll transfer that to a, like a fiberglass material that's a lot right. stronger, more okay. durable. Would she be able to move like her fingers kind of things, you know, when it comes to tie a shoelace or something, like at the end of the day, let's say, I mean, you know, after yeah. this process? Yeah, the most be. functional thing is actually um, kind of like a pincer. Mm -hmm. It's like, it looks like kind of like a two pieces of metal where the metal part comes down like a hook, right. but it's like a pincer, and that works really, really good for functional skills because okay. you can see what you're, what you're trying to grab. So like a shoelace, right. yeah. you could put the shoelace in between it and see it. Yeah. With a hand, the problem is, is you, if you try to grab it, you can't see you the can. shoelace, so you have right. to come at it from the side. Okay. And it gets difficult. That's yeah. why we have like the two weeks therapy, right? Yeah, Occupational right. therapy exactly. will go over with right. every day. Yeah. Those are the, yeah, so. No, I mean writing. That's what they're gonna do all this. Um, the two weeks, like, go over with. Okay, a little bit. I mean, like maybe we speak slow, then maybe she will understand, I guess. All right, step forward a little bit. I can we'll just do one side at a time, but if you want, we can just bring your hair up like that so I don't get any in there. <laughs> um, you want me to tie up her hair? That would yeah. help? Yeah, to yeah. tie more? Mommy, to Mati bandi su the top with the couple. Because it would not look good if I did it. My daughter's 16 now. It's been a long time since oh, I've done okay, <laughs> yeah. hair. And she's very picky, actually. Just want to let you know. She's like, like you can tell like when you are putting that thingy it's like oh my hair is messed because then I'm taking the video so she's like more <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> so, John, what we're going to do is um, we're trying to capture as much of the hemorrhoid, the, um, 
like shoulder protraction as possible. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna kind of just go right around, real tight into the groove. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll set one up at a time. Okay. Kind of let it mold nice. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> 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 Would there be any metal piece involved on it? Metal? Yeah. yeah. The, uh, socket the you elbow have joint like, okay, and the shoulder joint. And it's like a kind of socket, metal. right? And like you're going to give a doctor's prescription because he has to travel back to Nepal and there is a metal detector in the airport and uh, you know, yep. in this situation you might have to write something very... Yeah, yeah we can do that. Yeah. Also, TSA is trained to know that once a medical device, they just do the right. wand. Oh. Yeah, because she's going to go with the TSA pre anyway. Right. So. TSA screening is one of the challenges actually, especially someone who is going through those Oh, no, it's a, it's a pain without yeah, yeah. <laughs> processes. Yeah. Those pacemaker is even worse. You know, a lot of people who have that heart attack kind of thing, nowadays those technology that, um, you know, is supported by those pacemaker. Yeah. That is one thing. Um, you have to really stick down it. seen Michelle yet, right? Michelle is not in yet. No, no I had just know. walked into but I just came from the yeah. Laurel Lab setting everything up. If she was good to pull forward, and I'm getting my hand in that area, mm-hmm. and this I'm just kind of molding in so it doesn't mush out as yeah. we squeeze. And that's sort of the difference between the body parrot system and electric. Body parrot, we want to capture as much of this scapular mm-hmm. motion as possible, and in the electric system, typically we want to fit around it and just allow the shoulder to move, but then the prosthesis sits on the torso. Mm-hmm. So is this pretty normal kind of case? You might have done so many these kind of things. <laughs> is it looks like, or does it mix like a, you know all the way back those cutoff versus yeah. like a, some bilateral shoulder surgery? Bilateral surgery. I've right. been specializing in upper limb for coming up on twenty five years now, oh, and wow. I've done <coughs> eight, and I'm one of the maybe top five guys in the country. Wow! So there's not that many at that high level. Right. Um, we definitely need your card then, you know, we need to, we are having this recognitions kind of ceremony on 16th. No, he uh, is like the, I mean, the you know, mega, uh, Michelle will have all the list and everything, yeah. you have to be there actually. <laughs> Um, I'm more the clinical guy in the background. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> but of, uh, you are the, I mean, like, no, we have to, we'll talk, the, yeah. Know, it's not till, like, next month anyway, so, after all. Almost done. 